and we're literally seeing an epidemic of these issues in the United States right now. Dr. Robert Melillo is the co-founder of Brain Balance Centers. One out of every 10 children in the United States now is diagnosed with ADHD, and that's a real increase. My name is Dr. Robert Melillo. My life's mission is to help kids and families with special needs. My wife, Carolyn, makes it all possible. Welcome to our family. Hello, welcome to our show. I'm Dr. Robert Melillo, and this is my wife, Carolyn. Today we are talking about autism, so let's get started right away with what's making headlines. So, uh, last time we talked about fathers being older and having a greater risk of having children with autism, but there's been another study showing that women who are over 30, as you get over 30, your risk of having a child with autism accelerates dramatically. Which is scary because uh, most people don't think of having children before 30 anymore. I think in 1970, the average age of a woman was 21, and the average age of a man was somewhere around that, and now it's um, 31 and 35 years old. Right. And of course the body is different. I mean, we don't want to tell people not to have children at any age. People should be able to have that choice. Absolutely. Um, but if you are a bit older, and if your husband's a bit older, there are so many things that you can do to prepare your womb properly and make it the right vehicle to carry a healthy child. Because when you have so many obstacles, age, weight, um, if you don't have a healthy lifestyle, um, if you're predisposed for high blood pressure or diabetes, all of these factors add on and a great risk of having a child with autism or ADHD. Yeah, and I think that's the, the real big message, and that was the whole point of my book. So it's almost right. thank you for promoting my book, Autism, which was all about how do you prepare your womb. And the thing is, it's not even preparing your womb when you're pregnant. That's one thing, but it's even preconception. Absolutely. And if people are planning to have a child later, after 35, there certainly are many things they can do to prevent a lot of these things from happening and reading the book would help through vitamin, through weight loss, through right. just changing their diet. Diet is a big issue. There are so many environmental factors that didn't exist years ago that exist now. And when you eat, even, even putting things in the microwave, t eating things out of plastic, all these things add up in your body. And if you're already at a certain age, um, it's a high risk. It's a very yeah. high risk. And speaking of that, another risk that came out in research this week was that um, looking at women or maternal thyroid problems leave, lead an increased risk of having a child with ADHD and autism. Well, how does one know if they have a thyroid problem? Well, thyroid, as you know, we were talking about that, how common it is, right? It's the third most common drug is, is drugs for, yeah, for thyroid problems. It. And it's, it's, again, almost an epidemic rise. And so what we see is that the most common problem with thyroid is hypothyroidism, which usually leads to weight gain, you know, dull hair, your metabolism goes down. That's what, what happens. So it concerns people because they're saying, I'm, I'm, e I'm not eating, I'm starving myself, but I'm gaining weight, right? right? So the thing that is the most common problem is what's called Hashimoto's, which is where really an, an, an autoimmune, where your body is attacking, your immune system is attacking the thyroid gland and damaging it. And what's important about that is that we know that 60 to 80% of people that have that, th that Hashimoto's type, that autoimmune thyroid, that is triggered by gluten. Right. And so they don't realize that, you know, you're taking this medication, but actually if you just remove gluten from your diet or did things that would help your digestive system work better, that may actually do it. And that elevates and, the risk dramatically. Why is gluten so bad? It's not bad. Gluten is not bad. That's an important point. It's that it's harder for humans to digest gluten. And if you have a problem with your gut and if you have an immune system that's not working properly, if you're reacting to gluten, there's something wrong with your immune system, there's something wrong with your digestive system, which more often than not, it's because it's a problem in the brain. Right, and, and most, most people have a problem with their digestive system because they don't eat properly. Absolutely, so uh, stay tuned because when we come back, we're gonna be talking to Linda Coper, the uh, director of Autism Cares Foundation. Uh, she shares with us important information including special needs children in every act in everyday activities and ways we can help make that happen more when we return. <laughs> 